What's up, Melanated family? It's your boy Harrison again, man, from MelanatedFathers.com and Melanated Fathers TV. Um, anybody out there who has not subscribed to the YouTube channel yet, please do me that favor, family, and go to Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube channel so I can continue to keep that thing popping. I hope everybody is having a really good uh, start to their week. This is a show that I like to do every, or a video I like to do rather, every Monday called Melanated Mondays, where I basically come to my black family, you know, and we talk about a specific issue uh, facing our community. It could be an issue facing our kids, whatever the situation may be, right? Also, last Friday, um, I released the new episode of the Melanated Combo podcast that we do also. On that podcast, it was really important, y'all. I was able to speak to um, some black folks who created an organization and created an app, basically. Now, the app is called the RTC Protect app, and it's basically designed to be on your phone. Um, it's going to have a recorder on it. It's going to have the ability to call an attorney, the ability to send the recording to your families. You know what I'm saying? So go to Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube um, and check out excuse me and check out that episode we were able to get into a lot of good details behind why they started the app um one of the founders of the of the organization they have is a retired police chief so i was able to speak to a, a, a retired police chief about uh police violence and um good cop bad cop theory he he shared his opinion on how he feels about um, police brutality and you know we kind of went back and forth for a minute but it was a really um, productive dialogue I mean as much as I don't like police brutality and as many issues as I've had with police officers throughout the years um, I've yet to be able to sit down with like a police officer or a police chief or anything of that nature just to pick their brain about um, how they feel about what happens with black people in general and police officers so it was a really good dialogue that i was able to have um so everybody go to melanated fathers tv on youtube to discuss that or to to check out that video right now the topic i wanted to discuss today when i look at um whenever i go somewhere right i'm always looking at how black people are are acting i'm always looking at um how we're conducting ourselves right now I'm I understand that even if you do everything right in this society if you look the part if you sound the right way I mean none of this shit can prevent you from being in a situation where you get treated unfairly because of racism so that how you look and how you present yourself won't um negate the fact that you still could be treated unfairly and I understand that right but but I think when we talk about um, the problems that we have as black folks, right, whether it be police brutality, whether it be how we're treated in the school system, whether it be the, the, the school to prison pipeline, um, all of the redlining in our communities, the gentrification. I'm at my office here in Oak Park and it's a whole bunch of fucking gentrification going on right now. So, of course. Um, we understand that we have all these problems and all of us, in my opinion, should figure out different ways that we can combat these problems, figure out different ways and things that we can do personally to combat these problems. Now, what I think, because, again, looking at observing my black people, observing how we treat our children, observing how we um, uh, uh, respect life and or things around us right I'm seeing a lot of times where we have young black kids who are just unruly young black kids who I can tell their parents aren't putting in the proper amount of time to help them out and that can be with grooming I see a lot of little black kids with no fucking shoes on I see a lot of little black kids just running around without their hair brushed. I see a lot of little black kids running around with no shirt on, like a combination of all these things, right? So when we look at all of this, the ills of black society, even if you don't have money, even if you can't, let's say, put your money to an agency or put your money to an organization to help out or something like that, the, the, what we can do immediately is raise our kids the right way. That's what we can do immediately. Now, again, I'm not saying you raise your kids the right way. 
then that will excuse them from racism or that will excuse them from this system of white supremacy that we face. That's not that's not reality. But everybody should be doing what they can do personally. So if you have children it's a must that we groom our kids, y'all. It's a must that we read to our kids, y'all. It's a must that our kids know how to speak. Our kids know how to say, excuse me. Our kids know how to say, thank you. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of being in these environments because I'm not around, uh, at this point in my life, I'm not around white people a whole lot. The majority of the spaces that I find myself in is all back, it's all black people, all melanated people, or the majority of the people in that space is melanated, right? So I'm speaking specifically from what I see and who I'm around. And if we want to, the first thing we can do to combat this system is to, to take stock in how we're raising our kids, family. Just because your kid is alive, right? Just because you ain't killed your goddamn child 